All right, so what we need to do to get this slider piece out is we need to slide this all the way back and then we need to take our sunroof and we need to put it in the tilted up position. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to plug our switches back in, power on the car, and then uh, we, can, we can raise up the, the window. So we're gonna do that really quick. So I just have my switch panel right here. So we just need to plug these three main plugs back in. These other two we don't need to worry about. All right, now we're just gonna power on the car. And then on this car, all you need to do to get the window to tilt up is you just push this button. The, uh, this one's for the sunroof. This is what makes you go forward and back. If you just push it in like that, you'll see it tilts up. That's what we need. All right, so we can just leave this hanging there. I'm gonna turn the car back off for now. We don't wanna kill the battery. Okay, so the bolts that we need to access are behind this little accordion rubber piece right here. And this thing just pulls right off. It's pretty easy to get out. All right, so there's that piece right there. Just comes off pretty easy. All right, now these are the three bolts right here that we need to get to, they're T25. So we're just gonna pull these out. Okay, now that this is unbolted, we can lift this out, but we want to be really careful and put it somewhere safe where it's not going to get damaged. All right, so to get this slider out, we need to slide it all the way forward. And you'll notice that um, it won't go all the way forward. And the reason for that is because we have the window tilted up. So we need to, we need to run this back down and that'll allow us, there's some sort, of, uh, some sort of stop or something in there that when the track is up, it won't let the shade go all the way forward. So we need to just power on the car and we're going to just push forward on the, uh, the switch here and that's gonna run those tracks back down for us. And then we can slide this all the way forward. And now we can start to remove this. All right, now that we got the glass out, what we need to do is remove this piece right here. It's a rain gutter. And the reason we need to remove it is there's these stops underneath here that are attached to it that stop this, uh, this shade to slide too far but the thing is to get it out we need to slide it out even farther so we're gonna have to take this off and all you need to do is I'm gonna show you where those stops are really quick you see underneath there those are the stops right there you can see where it hits the sunshade and it's stopping it from coming out so what we need to do is we need to pop open this, uh, this bar right here. And we're just gonna do that with some needle nose pliers. It's pretty easy. We're gonna do that on both sides. There, and once that pops off, we just want to push that out like that. And now we just need to do the other side. Mm -hmm. 
All right, and then I'm just going to slide this forward a little bit just like that. And now what we need to do is just pop it out of its little hinge right here. And all I'm going to do is just take a flat blade screwdriver, pry forward just like that, and it should come out. We'll do the other side really quick. All right, now we can take this piece off. Okay, now there's these um, interesting little contraptions that are holding the slider in to the track here. What we need to do is pop these, these loose. So there's just like a little retaining plug thing that kind of holds the spring so it can't slide forward. So I'm just gonna take a pick and pop that plug out just like that and then what you can do is you can take a screwdriver and move that forward just like that And you can lift it out of there, right out of the track, just like that. So I'm going to do that on the other side, and then I'm going to show you how to take the back ones off. One other thing you want to make sure that you don't lose these little plastic sliders, because they do like to come off. So I like to just take them off and put them somewhere safe so that I don't lose them. Okay, now on these back ones, we're going to take the little plastic plugs out of both sides. And what that's going to allow is for us to have as much play as we can get going back and forth so we can pop these out because these ones are a little bit tighter than the front ones. All right, now what I'm going to do is just push this whole thing over to one side. I'm going to take a screwdriver and work out this other slide here. All right, and then once you have it popped loose, all you need to do is just turn it like that, and it should come right out. Okay, and when you go to reinstall the sunshade, all you have to do is just turn it and twist it in at an angle, and it goes right in. Okay, when you go to reinstall the bolts on the sunroof glass, what you're going to want to do is leave them loose because this glass actually has an adjustment on it and we need to make sure that the glass fits nice and flat to the roof. So we're going to have to shim this and I'm going to use these cardboard shims to help us hold this glass where we want while we're tightening up the bolts. 
Now, it's a little bit more difficult to get these bolts in with the sunroof in the down position. I know when we took it out, we had it tilted up. That was so it was easier to get to the bolts. But um, I suggest when you're installing it to just deal with the tight space and put the bolts in with the sunroof in the down position because this way you're gonna be able to adjust the height of the glass much easier rather than setting it with it in the up position and then going back down and checking and then going back up and resetting it and just kind of guessing the whole time. This way we'll be able to put it right where we want it the first time, tighten it down, and we won't have to mess around too much. Looks like it's working pretty good. All right, if you like that video and you want to see another one, make sure you click to your right here. And don't forget about all the courses we have available at the Lucky Needle. Click here in the corner to get more information. And don't forget to subscribe right here. Mm -hmm.